So they have the WWE ring in the middle, and they have a wall of people. These are little individual little boxes, and you can see, you know, you could have your face in there. Um, you buy a very expensive ticket. <laughs> no, to be able... no, you don't. Oh, really? Is it cheap? No, it's free. It's free? It's sign up. Ooh. It's first come, first serve. Whoa, I didn't realize that. Yeah, and it's, yeah, absolutely. Go, go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, I, I remember reading something was expensive. It must have been something else involved with it, whatever. But... <laughs> But it's essentially you get to watch and you're watching the matches um, on, you know, you'll see your face like you're in the audience and you get to react. And uh, the producer of the show will you when you're when you're the, participating at the producer of the show will announce which wrestler is coming out and that you should applaud or, you know, so mm. you're making sounds. So the it sounds like there's an actual audience there. So there, there's a lot of the, yeah, it's so it, it was kind of nice because they've been doing this at their performance center, which is basically just a warehouse that that where they would have a few rings set up and they, they trained everybody. Um, so it's been very like they've started bringing in some of the, the, the lower trainees would come in and be an audience. and They're behind plexiglass and all this. So in NBA has done a version of this, too. Right. Where there's been like these like uh, I believe Microsoft Teams was the technology behind it um, down in their NBA bubble. So basically WWE made their own WWE, not set bubble kind of situation, but if hey Katie, I don't know how much of the shows you've watched or, or the videos or whatever, but the show feels like a big WWE show again. It's ridiculous. Like I, just watching them and watching them come down and all the lasers and all the lights and the crowd and the sounds, the, the pyro in the crowd. <laughs> You can't do that anymore. No, no. Well, there's like there's py- like before you have pyro on the stage and that's it, right? Because there's mm-hmm. nobody there and it's a safe zone. But there's like literally like where the fan faces are, there's like pyro going across in between them and over them and everything. Like it's it's wild. 